Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Sunday, August 2nd, 2020. Bill Hijab, day 12. Number 1218. I'm deciding on uploading the vlog from yesterday, so by the time you're watching this video, yesterday's vlog should already be up. Please be sure to go check it out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That's a hair. So I um put this so sexy straight hair in my it, um it's like this oil or something like that I don't know I got it at the salon um it's pretty popular I'm sure if you've ever been to a salon you've heard of it um then I put on my retinol face oil and my SPF by Luxtine. I just made breakfast, so this is a uh, butter whole wheat. It's just a butter whole. It's I don't know if it's whole wheat. Whole wheat. I think it's just regular flour, and then um, butter bread with a vegetable omelet, and then I got some ketchup with it. I love I love these breads. Um, actually, they're like my friends' favorites. Like they sort of taste like crepes, so they almost go with like almost everything. Check it out. So you can eat this with salty stuff, sweet stuff, everything. So freaking tired from cooking this. I literally get dizziness just from standing there for that long. It's raining. By the way, here's what I'm wearing today. First, I was gonna like just eat and munch on some Reese's, and then I was like, that's not really real food. Um, so I sat for a long time, like um, contemplating this and not doing anything about it. And then now I have decided to go with Candy Blast, Chips Ahoy, milk, and water. The so sexy hair, like the straightening stuff. It like makes your hair smell really good too. It's one of the pluses. That's why I love it so much. It's one of the only products. I've had it since I was 14, which is the very first time that I ever went to go to the salon to get my hair done, like colored and highlights. Let's make some pasta. I have some pasta and milk. I got like two or three C cups. So you guys have seen my room lately. It's, trust me, it's way cleaner. At least it's up to my standards since I first moved in for sure. That was back in January. I get it, but I was sick um, the whole entire time. And I had to move everything um, and put everything where it is right now and like how it looks right now. I did this all by my freaking self. And that is not an easy task, folks. So... Anyways, and I've been cleaning daily ever since like I can actually muster the energy to do it. Um, so, and I've been vlogging about it. So anyways, and yeah, but here like in the last couple of days, I'm pretty much like wrapping up the whole like cleanse basically is what I'm going to refer to it as because I... Uh, you know, I don't know who was living here before, how long they were living here, and what the time span was between residences here. So I don't know, like, how long someone wasn't here for. So, like, for a place to be, like, lived in, it would be, like, clean to, to a degree that someone had been living in it if that makes any sense um but anyway so I have now currently like moved in here and I have been I've been cleaning like I said daily um and that's just to clean up like any kind of residual nest that was left behind by anyone because I am paranoid so um and it's not paranoia, it's more like just, I'm obsessed with germs and not having any germs 
that are my own germs. So, um, I had to like nicely like kind of do that, um, sort of like, um, like a deep, deep, I had to detoxify this place. And so that's what I did first. And then, and then I've also been like kind of like sweeping and cleaning up, um, every day. There's still like some stuff that, you know, has built up since the last time I did that, of course. Um, and there's also some stuff that's been sitting here um, that I need to like do, but I'm, I'm just being lazy. So anyways, my brother was like, um, so I have this box that contains like shoes um, that my brother was like, go ahead and like throw that in the garbage it needs to be going in the trash but the thing is that I have to actually empty it all out so this box here has to be emptied out and that contains shoes and then I thought about going ahead <laughs> and doing that because it seems like an easy enough task however it has a box that's sitting on top of it. This box contains stuff that I actually have to go through because it actually like costs money even though there was in probably no point in even buying all that stuff. But I have to like go through this box and my brother was like throw all the boxes away. Do it by like next Friday or something and I was like yeah. Yes, and so, and then this thing, I feel so terrible throwing it away because I actually built it with, like I took the time to build it myself with my own bare hands. And now it has to go in the trash. It just feels like such a waste of time. And yeah, so that's that. And then, anyways, so, and this is really heavy. Like, this is full of stuff. I'm not sure what's in it, um, just from looking at it. And I don't even want to look at it, <laughs> you know, and, but, so this is where I'm at. I'm stuck here. I have to do something with this box. I'm probably just going to have to pick it up and I'm going to have to move it into my bedroom and um, that way I can actually take the time, take my time in going through it and sorting everything out which is in this box because um, that's going to take like way too long. This also is definitely not going to take that long at all just because it just contains shoes and um, all I need to do is just like, you know, turn it over basically and it'll all be shoes. Only thing concerned about that is that I think there's bugs in it or something. There's always going to be something that when you move, when I moved from that old freaking place, um, I know it was just me and everything. Like, I'm a pretty clean person, but uh, my mom especially is, like, really, really clean. So she was, like, mostly maintaining that place. And um, so I have to, like, um, turn this over and find out if there's freaking anything living in there. I'm so scared about this. Um, and plus these shoes have been with me for several moves. So there could have been something that could have gotten in there at some point in time throughout all the moving processes. And then, so, and then that leaves me with this box. This box is really, really small. Um, so I'm still not sure where I'm going to put it. Um, actually, it's got like tools and it's got movies in it. I think I'm going to actually move it over here because it's got like DVDs in it. So I'm probably going to do that right now. This is just like chilling, just like watching me talk. Like, hello. 
actually have to do work prints. And so that my moving that box over there leads me to um, the fact that that box contains um, the bars or whatever that that this crate there there's like an entire crate <laughs> that is in here that this box requires for me to set it up and um <laughs> and um yeah, and I'm, I'm thinking of, I'm actually in the middle of deciding whether or not to keep this crate or not. It's a little bit on the homosexual side for me. I'm sorry if that offends anyone, um, but it's just, it's, it's, it's something that I bought, like, at one point in time when I just desperately needed some extra storage. <laughs> And I really wasn't thinking, this is like probably five or six years back when I wasn't on YouTube. Or it was like at a time when like, it was like the last couple of videos that I had made. And this vid this thing was in it and I just kind of like bought it and I didn't really like feel like, I didn't really like feel like shopping and thinking about what I was buying I was just like let me just go ahead and grab this shit you know it's like something that I don't know um you buy for someone like like as a Christmas present that it's that you just had because you wouldn't actually use it yourself it's just something that you would give someone because you need to give someone something um so yeah and the other point that I need to make on this is that this is indeed extra storage. I feel like it's more like garbage though. Um, and I don't feel like I'm going to be keeping it. It's not cute. Um, so I, 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 I am not going to be keeping it and it's just, it's, it's not cute. It's going to be like in the room and it's just gonna be like an eyesore, like all, all of the attention in the room would be drawn to this thing. Um, so, which leads me to another point that I don't know what to do with everything that's actually um, using this storage. Um, because there, I don't know where to put it all. And I don't know what it is all actually. Um, I've decided not to keep like stuff that has like a lot of value um, in my possession. So, um, you know, that's just that's just what I've decided to do. Um, so I'm just I'm like, yeah. The TV is like too big for somebody to come in here and break in and like try to steal from me. Um, and so, yeah. <sighs> Which means that I just have like a lot of extra crap. And that being extra crap. <laughs> and I don't know what to do with this extra crap because like at, at one point in time I didn't realize something could happen until it happened. So, um, I used to buy like whatever the hell, like I used to buy whatever the fuck, you know, that's just my mind. That's my thinking. Um, and so, and like, I mean, overall, like I know that I was just like getting myself probably into something, but I never thought that like you know what has like happened happened or would happen so to me so yeah um i don't know how much of that little storage crate or whatever you want to call it is actually being used um i have to go through each little thing and if like if it is, then 
I have to find somewhere to put it in here. And that's where we come to a wall. This pair of shoes I've had for a very long time. I don't even know how long I've had them for, but I've had them for a very, very long time. And I think even when I bought them, I bought them at Journeys. Even when I bought them, I think they fit, they didn't fit me. Like they were too small. So, yeah. That, that's another example of me just buying crap and not even really looking at it. So, and then I went through this box. Um, I need to finish like kind of organizing all that stuff that's in there because I don't know what to do with that ugly like crate thing. Um, I don't know if I should throw this away. I mean, it, it doesn't fit me and first of all, and then it's like Texas. So it's like, I'm never, ever, ever going to be able to have the opportunity to use this again. Um, if I ever did in the past, which I probably think. I did like once and I realized it didn't fit and I was like, okay, well, this is awkward because what if somebody notices that you're wearing something that doesn't fit your, your foot? Like, like, like you're, I'm like walking around with my big toe just kind of sort of turned over to the side a little bit the whole time. These shoes I bought, um, I don't know why they're so dirty, but anyways, and then with those shoes, I was going to say that out goes my whole like clubbing, my idea to go clubbing in those shoes, <laughs> if I were to. Um, and then these I bought, these so hurt so freaking much. This thing actually poked me. Like I can just wash this and it'll be co totally clean. I don't know. I think I probably wear it once, wore it once and it like turned like this. Anyways, so I put this on this freaking bow. It was like poking me in my foot the whole entire freaking time. These are the worst, most uncomfortable shoes. <laughs> uh, okay, and then my mom's gonna be watching this and she's gonna like yell at me on the phone, like just throw this crap away. Um, these are cute, but they're also like not in style. <laughs> I have a pair of moccasins. These are also cute. I don't think they fit me though. These are cute, but they're like not appropriate for anything. I think I got them at Payless. And I'm like, you can't wear these outside. This is not cute. This is like totally like an old lady look. I knew this when I bought them. So there's this guest store and I don't know if you like guests. I do not like guests. Um, at a nearby mall and these are guest boots that I got and I wore them to Pakistan when I went there last time just because um, they were they're totally stylish um, but I think I lost a, I think I lost like the other shoe to it and the other thing is that like same situation when I went to Pakistan is like if I like I totally have regrets on buying this crap when I go to Pakistan because people just steal shit from you. I mean, people just, it, it, shit just like goes missing. <laughs> and then these ones are by something called Metaphor and they're totally done. Um, they don't fit me. They're just a little bit too big, I think. But they're still done. Like the soles are like gone. And I'm not like, I don't know, I stopped wearing high heels <laughs> for a while, and I don't know. These aren't very cute. I mean, this color, like, I don't know, it's not really my color um, to be wearing. I think I got these for a job interview. I think I'll probably have to keep those. But even to a job interview, I don't wear high heels anymore. Oh yeah, and then this pair of shoes is totally, totally cute. It needs to go in the wash, um, but I think it's actually too small for me. Hold on. No, it fits. But it's, no, like the toe is still poking out in the front. 
I don't see myself. Where the hell would I wear these shoes to? I don't. I don't see myself ever being this fashionable, like this fashionista that I would wear these shoes to anything. Plus, they're sort of like wintry and. I don't know. These are like, hold on, let's see what brand this is. This is by Socks Tab. I don't know, man. Um, and I think I lost the other shoe to this pair of shoes. Here's the boot that goes with the other um, boot that I just showed you guys. I, I don't see myself. So I, I got those shoes and I thought it would be like super stylish and cool to be like traveling with and everything, you know, blah, blah, blah it's Pakistan boots, right? So, um, and I'm kind of like an army brat. And anyway, so I bought the boots. I take the boots to Pakistan. It's all good. It's all cute. Um, but then I never wear them again. I bring them back to pa America never wear them again it's been like let's see how long ago was that seven years then i have these like non-stick or these slip and slip proof shoes um i have apparently two different pairs of these and i think i need to throw them away as well because i think they're pretty much ruined water and stuff when i was working as a waitress the water just like got in to the shoe and I'm probably never going to do that job again. These I once thought were really really cute. They're just like little like slippers and they're just like they're like ballet flats. Um, not that it, like I'm not in a ballet but I don't know. These do not work for a beatnik like me. Here's another pair of the boots. They're completely different though from the other ones. I think these are also from Guess. Um, probably. It doesn't say on there, but um, anyway, same situation. I, that was the other pair that I brought to Pakistan that I just um, have only worn like once and didn't turn around and wear them again. I didn't spend that much money. like. Collectively on both of those shoes, uh, it's hard to say, maybe like 40 bucks or something like that. So, yeah, but it's like it's totally like throwing away 40 bucks. This pair of shoes I bought, this is by Michael Kors. See how dirty? So, every time I wear them, they are, first of all, they're plastic um, and they expose the toes. Not my thing at all. Um, and then anytime that I wear them, like my feet will make them like, you see these marks? They're like mud stains or something, dirt stains. So it's like, I don't, I don't think I'm actually washing my shoes. <laughs> so yeah, um, I will put them on just like the way they are, but I don't see myself ever wearing them just because the toes are exposed. Uh, and these shoes are by Zara. I don't think they fit me anymore. Let's see, it's a size 37. But I don't know what the size is in regular numbers. Uh, fall, winter. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try these on. Anyway, so these are totally stiletto. Um, heels. This is... Oh my gosh, they're really, really hard to get into. And I, I I thought that it was because, and that goes for all like Zara stuff for me. I don't know why. But um, they're like really, really hard to get into. But once I do, I mean, it's fine. Like I can just like walk around in them. Um, but they're a little bit, like I'm not into this look. I wore the, these shoes maybe once or twice ever. Um, I'm just not into the, the whole, like, stiletto look at all. It's not, yeah. I, I'm probably, I'm not sure what to do with these shoes. 
probably gonna throw them away. I've just been trying to find the opportunity to do so. I've just been like really, really tired. These shoes happen to be like one of my favorite shoes ever. This is by Charlotte Russ. If, if you don't know what that is, or if you do, it's great. Um, these are probably like one of my favorite shoes ever, but they don't fit me anymore. I wore them until they just didn't fit them fit me anymore, and this was probably when I was like, gosh, in high school, like before high school, man. These are super cute. Um, these I wore to my brother's wedding, I wanna say. Uh, yes. So I think you can see me wearing these shoes um, on Instagram. Anyways, um, yeah, I still have them. I don't know what to do with them, but I think I'm gonna probably trash these. They were kind of like expensive too, which is like funny, but they're like a no-name brand shoe. Um, super cute and like the the little diamondy ruby situation going on um, with them these were like these shoes were like specifically picked for the dress that I was wearing to my brother's wedding um, but that was like the only time that I wore these shoes they're not that uncomfortable however they don't have the slip grip thing on the bottom of the heel and so when I walk they sort of squeak and I think they're just probably gonna leave like skid marks if I decide to wear them. Um, so yeah, and I don't go to like many weddings either. Okay, so that's that. Um, closed up two boxes. One of them contained like just a whole bunch of shopping bags. So I just took them and I put them in the kitchen. Um, well, like where the trash is. I think I need to probably keep some of those because they do actually come in handy. I just don't know like where the hell to put them. And then these are all the shoes. Um, this is like an off-brand pair of Uggs, which I thought were actual Uggs and I didn't think that there would ever be an off-brand of Uggs. Um, so I got them and they sucked. I hate Uggs because they cause your feet to be, they'll, they'll like cause your feet to slide around in the shoe. And then um, like, cause you'll start to sweat because they're way too freaking hot. And then also they don't have any arch support. So it's like painful to actually walk in because like, I don't know, they're like too heavy. Um, cause there's no arch support. Um, and then I think I'm going to throw away this white pair of like polo shoes. I think they're actually for dudes. So, um, there's that. Um, these ones I got on a whim. Uh, they're like little like mule clogs. I don't know what you want to call them, but I got these like a long time ago because of the weather. The weather was crazy and it was just like wet outside all the time so those ones actually helped me at the first job that i ever did as a medical assistant these are like the only pair of shoes that i actually like and i can't and i lost like the other half basically which sucks these are the only pair of shoes that i like out of the whole entire box i think that is a pair of reeboks I'm not 100% sure, but it's like really dirty because, um, or Pumas, they're like really dirty because I wore them to work and stuff. And as a medical assistant, it gets kind of dirty out there. Then I have these Sperry shoes. Um, these are like good for Pakistan, not really good for wearing outdoors here in the States just because these are like boat shoes and stuff and like they're supposed to be they're meant to be like for getting wet um probably going on a boat <laughs> um which I don't have anything like that here so yeah um and I'm not sure if they fit me anymore anyways they don't really come in too much handy any any longer but yeah see battery just random not 
sure what to do with those. I think I'm gonna care I'm gonna keep these because I think I'm gonna probably try and get another pair. I haven't ever been able to find a shoe that was quite like this. Um, I thought I would be able to, as you can see, the pile of mishaps. Um, but these ones really, really were like the winners out of like all of them. So I think I'm gonna have to probably keep this pair and I'm gonna have to like hunt down a new pair. This is by Reef. I know, it's so stupid. Nobody, nobody knows this brand. The boot shows, I'm afraid to let these go because I feel like, cause these are my first ever pair of Sperry's whenever Sperry's like first came out, if you know what that is. Um, so I had to like, I was like, I'm going to get these because they, they, these were the fad back in the day. Um, I'm afraid to let them go because these are actually, when I do wear them, they are actually really, really comfortable. I just don't know if they're actually even any, like my size anymore. Then I have these, um, these are by Kathy Jean. These are gray. They absolutely do not fit me at all. Not my style at all. They're like pointy stiletto heels. Um, very, very uncomfortable to be walking around in. Because again, they are stiletto and they just give off the wrong like impression for sure. Um, I think I wore these like once in the States um, and immediately took them off. And then I think probably I wore them in Pakistan a lot. Um, but anyway, these are ugly gray and they didn't match anything that I owned. So I was like, okay, maybe they'll be okay because nobody's actually gonna notice your shoes in Pakistan. So they'll be okay to wear there. I would say this is the only pair of shoes that actually still fits. I probably wouldn't wear them again, but anyhow, um, I'm kind of depressed though because I had bought two at the same time and I bought one that was a black pair and one was like this sort of like ivory, I don't know what, how you would describe this. Um, and I, I think I lost the black pair, but anyways, I'm on a, I'm on a mission to find my black pair that goes with this so I can keep them both together. Um, cause I really like the black ones, the white ones I don't even wear and like I lost so I lost the only pair that I would wear out of the two. And so it's like, well, what's even the point? These ones are completely ruined. Um, these are Life Stride. These were actually great shoes, but they didn't last very long. I mean, they did, but not very, very long. Like as long as I would have liked. Um, I wore them to many, many interviews. I think I'll probably keep them. Um, just because like I could wear them to job interviews still. This is a shoe that I would definitely wear to a job interview. I wouldn't wear something that was like open toed. This is more like dressy um, to wear. So I would wear this probably to a job interview. Um, closed toed, appropriate for the hospital setting. Then I have this pair of like Nike golf shoes. I don't know if you guys have ever seen them. They're white and they are the most uncomfortable just as uncomfortable as you can imagine golf shoes would be i mean you whenever you take a step they don't really bend you know at the heel or at the the ball of your foot so they just they're very stiff and like pointy almost just like dress shoes for men so i'm not showing you guys in this um i have a pair of nike reacts um and a, a regular pair of nikes that i bought those i wear like um in the hospital setting i wouldn't touch them so i'm not going to show you them um these shoes i absolutely hate because the flower at the top it actually pokes deep down into my toes so um yeah and i don't know where the heck i even got these shoes um but I think I actually got them at Ross. Again, the whole Ross thing. Like, it just doesn't fit. Um, the stuff that they sell there, it's like resold to Ross from other companies and stuff for 
manufacturing defects. These shoes are Clive. I'm not sure. I think I got these at H&M or probably Dillard's. Oh no, I got these in Pakistan, actually. These were good for a very, very long time. They're really, really cute, but as you can tell, they're actually starting to fall apart. Um, and, you know, they're kind of starting to crack right there and everything. So, and they don't fit me anymore either. So I'm probably gonna have to let these go. Um, I did get a lot of wear out of them. That was a complete waste of money. Now I have these, these are by Vera Wang. Um, these do not fit me anymore. If I, if I wear them, they actually like suffocate my toes um, to the point that they just start to like accumulate blood and turn around. And um, so yeah, these are wedges. It's, I mean, I like Vera Wang, so I stand by Vera Wang. It's just like, and this color is really, really cute. Th these are blue, totally still in style, by the way. Um, just don't fit me. So the boxes that I unloaded, I think there were two boxes, the shoe one, and then the one with the shower curtains. I unloaded them and I just put them right over there. I just stood them up and put them behind all these other boxes against the wall. Um, not really sure if I need to, um, but I don't know if I'm going to throw them away again. <laughs> Just because, like, I'm really, really lazy and I would hate to have to, like, have to, like, drive all the way out to Home Depot again and buy more boxes, um, if I ever ended up needed, needing boxes for any reason. So this is the only box that's left that I have to sort through. Um, again, I don't know if I'm going to keep this ugly, like, colorful crate thing. Um, I lost the manual to them, so I don't remember, like, how you're supposed to organize it to where it looks like a rainbow, um, which is really, really cute to me. Um, so, yeah. But I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be keeping that anyways. I'm not sure. I think I will probably keep it. I'll just have to like, I'm just going to go ahead and empty out this box and just like move whatever's in it into my closet somewhere. I have to see like when I'm going to get around to doing that. Um, hopefully tomorrow or something, um, because I still have to go through all of those shoes and I think I'm going to probably keep everything that's in there. Um, for now, I'm probably going to get like a trash bag or something and just keep that stuff, um, in the trash bag and out of the way. Probably going to move it into a smaller box like that one. Um, Put, put all that stuff into a smaller box. Like I said, I didn't know if I would end up needing the boxes. So as you can see now, lo and behold, I need the box. So probably gonna keep um, all of those shoes um, in the, like I'm gonna make a box and then put those shoes into um, the box. And then I'm going to uh, just keep that somewhere in my closet because that's the only place that I know um, that I do have some space to keep that in. Let my battery charge for just a little bit. Prince is still sitting over there <laughs> by the shoes because I left the lights on in here. Anyways, that just like lightens a whole lot of load from my shoulder and clutter from this room. Um, and I can kind of hear my voice echoing a little bit. So that's a good sign. Um, so yeah, lightens the load quite a bit um, for me. And I'm ready to tackle that box. And then once that box is done and out of the way, um, I can kind of throw that white thing out. Um, so I had another box that had like Oh, it was the other box. It had throw pillows in it. 
So I took the throw pillows and I just put them in the closet. I have blankets, like extra blankets and pillows in the little closet rather than in the coat closet rather than like, I guess that's all you would put in there, right? Um, I don't really need coats here. So <laughs> I do have like, I actually do have scarves in there, but they're on hangers. So that's good. Thumbs up for hangers and being organized and neat um in your coat closet um and just being fully aware of anything that could you know come like could potentially like get in the way for the future for you so this is how that looks right now this cart right here is my versa cart i use that for grocery shopping and unloading and loading onto my car um and groceries and bringing them um like to my house to my doorstep so i can unload the versa cart from of groceries primarily just for groceries um and then that is a box that contained a heated blanket. Um, the heated blanket is in this closet and I need to actually take out the, the wiring, the, you know, the thing, the cable that you plug it into um, and actually like put it with that blanket into this closet. I just haven't actually done that because my mom insisted that I return this blanket, but I was like, you never know when you're gonna end up needing that shiz, you know what I mean? Um, and then this vacuum cleaner, I, I'm going to move it from here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and like put it up in my closet as well uh, with all the stuff that's in this because, um, and then put these shoes in a trash bag as well and put them into the closet because I don't have a whole lot of use for this vacuum anymore. I'm just waiting and thinking about uh, um, purchasing a rug for this room or my bedroom um, where it could come in handy. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it because um, it does work. It's, I think it's someone's. I don't think this is a brand new one. Um, and then that is how my kitchen looks at the moment. Um, kitchen is always a work in progress. Um, you know, because it holds like all, most of like the primary trash for the whole entire house is in the kitchen, uh, located in the kitchen. So I have all of these extra like shopping bags. Um, I need to find somewhere to put them because I think I'm going to actually keep all of those. This box mostly primarily contains my microbiology textbook, um, which if you're in healthcare or if you're taking like um, <coughs> any kind of like science class or something um, or nursing class, um, you have to take your your microbiology I think it you have to renew it every five years or so it you know you you could still have the credit but you have to take it again every five years if you plan to like further your studies in nursing for example so I kept my my micro textbook in this box um, because it's actually supposed to be in a binder so I'm gonna take it all out and I'm gonna put it into a binder um, and salvage it. And I think the rest of it's mostly just trash. This thing right here, it's by some brand called Modella. I'm not exactly sure what's all in it. I know it used to have my makeup in it, <coughs> but, um, I lost it all or something happened to it. Um, I don't know what the heck happened to it too, but, um, yeah, so that's what I was using this for and I took it to Pakistan with me um, and I find this bag to be kind of unlucky because I feel like everybody that <laughs> saw this bag, that saw that I had makeup in it, 
you know, just everybody just one at a time just took a piece of my makeup and I was just left with like one piece of makeup and this bag. So, <coughs> yeah, um, I just find it to be kind of unlucky for me. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with it though, because um, it is unlucky. I feel like I should put it into like, I don't know, like a, a grinder or something like that and just, just, no. Uh, very lucky. And then that is a CD case with some CDs um, that probably nobody listens to anymore. Let's see, what do I have in here? This is someone's, this isn't even mine. I think they just let me have, they just like let me have these CDs. This is um, Marilyn Manson rock, rock and Roll. This is Hawthorne Heights. Um, I was never a um, emo person, but all my friends thought it was really cool. So anyways, I had a lot of emo, emo friends. Um, this is stupid things. And, uh, this is the Great Malenko. I was like, why didn't anybody ever <laughs> like this? So I insisted on making a copy of this. <laughs> um, Green Day and Bare Naked Ladies. I don't know what's on this one. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna look through this because I was looking for this. I was looking for a CD so I could put it into my car. Jake Kita Kid, I don't know what that is. I just listened to um, Spotify in my car and I have like a Bluetooth thing um that plugs into my iphone it's it's not it's like a um it's not a bluetooth thing it's but it's um it's a utility cord dj small southern smoke mix kick ass rock i used to not i uh, used to not smoke pot but that's probably what it's referring to black foos this is some german music um the backstreet boys Anyone? Huh? Huh? That's my own handwriting, I think. Or it's my brother's. No, I think it's mine. This, I've been into the Backstreet Boys a long time. This CD looks like it's blank, but there's probably something on it. Gucci Mix. I don't know what this is. I feel like it's rap music. I think it's Gucci Mane, probably. I don't know what this is. Um, this has a buffalo on it, not sure what that is, and two Fs, not sure what that is, um, Ben Harper, I have no idea what that is, don't know what that is, um, I'm going to have to put these in, H Productions or JL Productions, this, I don't know. I wonder why I have the Backstreet Boys. I guess somebody must have made that for me. Um, this is by, give them the boot. This is by, um, <laughs> oh my gosh. So Sarah is the best. Give them the boot. Who? Um, I think it's. Dropkick Murphys, probably. Um, the CD is so freaking gay. <laughs> Give them the boot. LOLs. Gay is my favorite word. Volume 3, 4S. And Danzig. I think this is high school. I want to say this is high school. This box is also where I put my empty envelopes, like, to mail stuff with. Um, so very important not to not lose those because it's like office supplies and I need to uh, like organize, I need to find a way to organize my office supplies. So much. And then I'm just gonna finish up by going through all this stuff and then putting up this and cleaning up the kitchen. I'm still like in the process of doing that. The kitchen always is like the most, in the, in the most worst condition. So, because it's just constantly, like, I'm constantly using it. I use my kitchen quite a bit. Um, 
So yeah, that one's always just gonna be in like the worser shape of anywhere else. Um, so I'm going to, eventually I'm going to have a nice and clean kitchen <laughs> or at least semi clean. And then this thing has to go. Um, so let's see. That's pretty much like the most of the stuff that um, I have to do. Um, other than that, it's just like day-to-day -day maintenance that has to be done. I'm just left with this big, huge pile um, that I just need to sweep into there and throw into the garbage. But I'm not gonna do that right now because I need to empty out this filter for this one and I'm not gonna do that now. Um, um, and use it to vacuum up um, the dust bunnies that I've accumulated. Um, and I'm gonna do that at the same time that I clean up all the fur balls that Julie Puff has just kind of like all over the place. Um, the reason I'm not emptying out the filter for this right now is because it's like, it's actually as gross as I thought it would be. And um, I just get really, really tired of washing my hands like so frequently. Um, um, when it comes to cleaning, it just, it just is like, Unnecessary. I just clean up the cat's litter, so that's one thing. Um, and I think I'm gonna have to take the trash out tomorrow, so I'm probably gonna work on the kitchen tomorrow and just like kind of sort through all of the shopping bags and put those somewhere and find a place for them. Um, and try to throw out some trash um, along with the litter that I just cleaned up for the cats and then probably move on to this pile next as well as the cat balls that I have everywhere. The dust bunnies are very, very routine. Like I, I know for a fact um, that they will always just kind of accumulate, but they're a lot easier to clean because I have my handheld vacuum that I keep charged. Um, so whenever I empty out the filter for that, I'm going to do all the bus dust bunnies as well. But that will be last. Like whatever extra that I need to get, I'm gonna get with my cordless vacuum. That's pretty much gonna be all for, you know, the stuff that I really, really have to clean. Um, I have to do my like routine kitchen cleaning routine. Um, and I have to do, I have to do like all of my laundry. So I have like a load of laundry, so you guys know when I first moved here that I had a bunch of laundry that I had to do so I had to like fold all that stuff. I still have to go through all the stuff that I had thrown onto my bed. Um, I have to go through all of those and I'm probably going to keep everything but I think you'll probably catch it in a future vlog. I'm probably going to probably gonna go through all this stuff not probably not gonna have anything to throw away but um, I do have to fold them probably gonna have to do some more laundry and just wash them again not sure I have to decide on what's really gonna happen with all that stuff um, I think though for the most part they are just clean um, but I still have to go through and look because even if they're just even a little bit dirty I don't want to put them into my closet where I have all fresh laundry um, done and then I do have a, another load that I have to do um, of laundry so yeah and then I have a clean load that I need to fold and sort out and put up and like I'm all out of cereal so I need to go do grocery shopping I don't have any cereal bars um, I need to go pick up some more of those I need to pick up cereal uh, for me um, and I think that's it for now. Right now I'm just gonna go and make something to eat. I made the pasta earlier, but it didn't really like fill me up enough. So I'm gonna make some more food. I think I just have ramen, so I'm just gonna make some ramen noodles. So, and then uh, my box containing my microbiology textbook. I have some space down here that I could put it in. The cats 
have kind of stopped um, slumbering down here so much. So I could probably just put that box down here and that will just uh, clear me of that problem. Um, at least temporarily. That's even more one less thing. Um, and then I can just put it into a binder if I decide I want to put it into a binder. Um, but I was pretty much just holding off on putting it into a binder until, um, until I actually went back to take that clause. I have so many of these, um, computer, I have so many Microsoft Office, I think I have two of the same textbooks. The Microsoft Office, um, textbooks. So some of these are in relation to, um, a medical assisting. Um, some of these are like binders that I used, but, um, haven't to date since like probably 2014. Um, but I'm still kind of holding on to the binders so I don't have to like, um, you know, look for another good binder for when I go back to classes. But I don't think I'm going to need all of them, but I don't know. I'm just going to hang on to them. Um, some of them are just stuff to take notes in. Let's see, what is this? Um, and then I think one is like a nursing uh, encyclopedia. That is a laptop. Still works. I need to order the thing for it if I'm actually going to ever use it again. Um, that is uh, Netters. And mostly these are ANP, Human Anatomy, and Genetics. I haven't taken that in a while. <sighs> so yeah. This is an, a Human Anatomy book. It's still not even, it's not even my, actually maybe it is. I was going to say maybe it's not even my book, but I think it is. No, it couldn't be. I don't think it, this is even my book. I think this is someone's book that somebody decided to gave, give me. Um, and then, yeah. And like a lot of this stuff can be broken down um, and reorganized. I'm just not, I mean, I don't know how much more organized this can get um, because I'm probably going to go back to classes sooner than later. Um, so I don't, I don't think I need to like break down or take out any of like the office supplies and separate them. And Both Jigglypuff and Prince are in the best of moods. At the moment, he's so excited about this spot being completely empty. <laughs> it's just chilling. I have like these dirty ass pots that I have to clean so that my sink will finally be empty. And then when all of that is done, I'll just be left with the cat's like, you know, maintenance and upkeep, um, the litter tracking that'll be the most that I'll have to worry about that's concerning to my own health as well. I made ramen, two eggs with the soy and sriracha sauce. Can never have enough soy sauce. I love how you can just take like your uh, run of the mill packet of ramen noodles and just turn them into something like restaurant grade ramen, which I love. I was watching, um, this uh, video on YouTube, but um, with someone that was like putting up curtains um, in their new house. So it seemed like it looked really, really easy on the video. And I'm just hoping that it's gonna be as easy for me here as well. Um, decorating has just been kind of a hassle for sure. Um, so if I do put them up, they're going to be blue and in the first like go. So like, uh, I don't know. I hope it's good. I hope it turns out good. I'm kind of scared that it won't.
Anyways guys, I'm going to go ahead and close the vlog. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys on the next vlog.